Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're doing something completely different. Never done this on the show before. Don't know much about it. I know of them, but uh, it's something that I've been interested in because it kind of looks like a model, but it is an RC. Now, this was gifted to the show by an RC Kicks Patreon. Sean, a massive thank you. It's incredibly generous to send over a new inbox kit that I can build on the show to bring more content to everybody. And it's this, the Kyosho Honda NSR 500. Now this, I know nothing about this. I know of them, so I need to figure out, you know, the electronics. Do you have small servos that you need? What other bits and pieces do I need to get? Apparently it balances and the driver moves, but I mean, it just looks stunning. And all the images I've seen of it, because you can still buy this, it looks brilliant. I love the way it sits, so you get a stand for it. Now there is quite a few options for this. So for anybody who's into this, I'm gonna need your advice on the options. Should I get some before I build it? What should I get? Um, or should I not bother and just build it up? Now, I want to run it once, but I don't want to destroy it because I think it looks beautiful and I kind of like the model aspect of it. And maybe I'll put more effort into painting it up and trying to raise the detail. Anyway, in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it and take a look at what's inside because I honestly haven't even opened it yet. So I'm looking forward to seeing. Apparently, it's 1 8 scale. So I'm guessing that's going to be about what? This sort of size? Anyway, let's find out. Hit it, Charlie. So let's unbox it together. I haven't even looked inside it, so I honestly don't know. But box wise, it's a little bit smaller than a car. But uh, if you're used to racing buggies and stuff like that, that's probably about the right size as this new body. So let's open it up and have a look. I was surprised they still make this one. As looking at it, they seems to have made a few different versions. Now this one says it's got the metal geared third version so uh, I'm guessing there must be two versions of this before. And then this one comes with the optional Metal Gears included, I guess. We'll find out. So we've got the instruction manual and some decals. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Now it's going to be a bit of time before I get this one on the show, as I've got a couple of other projects that I need to finish first. Uh, you've got to cut your decals out, but uh, shouldn't be too difficult. He says, not knowing anything about it. Let's take a look at the manual as well, so we can see. It seems very thin, so it doesn't seem to be lots to it. I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to get a small servo. I'm guessing there's a set size of servo that I need to order. So I'll, uh, I'll do a bit more research into that, and then I'll place an order to get one. Uh, let's have a look. So it doesn't seem to be too much to it. It's actually got a chain on it, so... Uh, the motor in it, uh, I'm not sure what size motor you get, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Doesn't look so difficult. I'm guessing you're going to have to paint it before you build it and paint up the driver first. But uh, we'll see, we'll figure it out. So, So we've got the wheel inside. So yeah, there's gonna be quite a bit of painting before we actually put it together. So it's a bit more like a truck in that respect that you've got to paint up all the little calipers and stuff before you assemble it. Now I did see that there was a chrome chassis available for it. So I don't know whether that's worth doing or whether I can just paint it up as per the bike, which is probably whether that's chrome or whether that's like a black or something, I'll have to do a bit more research. There's the rear arm. So yeah, lots of painting. So very much like a model. What have we got in here? So we've got some fairing 
that's the actual so it's going to be reasonably big it's going to be about so size because that's one side of it there top bearing what else have we got this is the driver it surprises me that the driver actually moves from left to right and tilts so it must uh, f flex freely there's the driver's head there so yeah quite big quite big driver his hands so lots of detail what's this here then so this is the engine parts some of the exhaust parts by the look of it uh servo horns but totally new for me <laughs> and then what else have we got oh here's the tires so that gives you a better idea i would say that wheel is probably about the same size as a one tenth wheel uh yeah it's got like a edge lip to it so i'm not quite sure what that's about but that's the tires oh there's the motor so it's quite a small motor i think i actually have one like that already that i was given hold on let me see if i can find it it was a tamiya one not sure where it is here it is what well, is this the same size no uh no that is thicker i was given this i was just wondering i'm not sure what i was ever going to use that for but I'm pretty sure that won't fit. That's actually smaller. Um, that's a 370 motor. That's not one of those. As well as we've got a few other bits and pieces in there as well. Oh yeah, there is actual metal gears as per the box. Well, you kind of expect that then. <laughs> What's this? Screws, a belt. So is it chain drive or belt drive? But it looks like it's got a sprocket. I don't know. We'll have to uh, figure it out when we build it. But first, obviously, like I said, got to get all the bits and pieces for it. Then this is some metal parts, suspension parts. Oh, this is quite heavy. Oh, a big bit of metal there. I'm not sure what they are. Front shocks as well. I'm not sure what this big thick weight is. I'm guessing it's to go in the wheel or something so that uh, it gives it a bit more... Uh, weight to stand up when it's going fast and that is pretty much all you get so pretty straightforward really but i'm guessing most of it is going to be in the painting and the detail work so a massive thank you to sean for sending over the bike it will be back on the show but i've got to obviously order some electronics for it and then once i've got all that in and we've got through the current projects that are lined up then we'll crack on and i'll get that done so it's definitely going to be back on the show way before christmas but the current projects that we have the first is the easy one that's gonna be back on the show quite soon is the tamia cosworth that just needs to be painted up now i've got some rims coming for it adjustable rims just to see whether i prefer them to the ones that i've got and uh, after that i've got to cut the body posts off paint up the body put the decals on and as well as add a little bit of electronics and that one will be done and dusted super easy and it's going to look really nice when it's finished i think after that we've got the team associated pan car that i'm waiting on the axle now i place the order for the axle and it's coming from italy but it's going from italy to france france to the uk uk to me so it's going to take a while for that to turn up now i ordered the like i said in the video i ordered the 190 millimeter body for it which will just fit straight on as it is and then i will do the conversion to 235 and then we'll run it again and see the difference as i'm quite interested in that because the 235 is pretty much a square and it should be really really rapid round corners so i hopefully have got all the parts now to do that but it's going to take a little bit of time before that comes back on the show but i will paint up the 190 body first and then we'll run it while i'm sort of gathering all the bits and pieces to make it a 235 so that then the egress black egress black should be out by then and that will be on the show because i've got one order from lnl models i also have a uh, um, kyosho phantom the crc2 i think it is that should be here in the next week or so as well as a lovely le mans gold brushless motor for it so that will be built on the show very very soon uh, after that we've got where else have we got a rock soccer to build we've also got i'm looking at them over here we've got the quad track um toyota to build i'm hoping rebecca's going to build that over christmas but uh yeah so there's quite a lot i also picked up i'm looking over here a lancia evolution uh wrc body uh so that's probably going to go on something at some point that was a tamiya one that i snapped up and also i have an rc10 team car 
coming and that's going to need another body but that will be here in the next couple of weeks so it's all go and the bank balance is taking a kicking but a lot of you have been helping out as well so a massive thank you see you on the next one bye bye